Hi friends, Control is officially back and it's awesome. Caustic Treatment is the fun new map along with Barometer and Hammond Labs which are returning from earlier this season. I've got 5 tips for you to help you win more games in Control and this is perfect for those of you that didn't get to play Control at the start of the season and even those of you that did, this should help remind you of what to do in Control to win. My first tip is to set up Pathfinder zip lines between each capture zone and your home base. This allows you and your whole team to move quickly between points. Perfect for when you need to quickly recapture a zone because it should get you back to those zones a lot faster than it will for the enemy team if you've got these movement abilities set up that you and your whole team can use. This tip also works well for Octane's jump pad and any other legend with movement abilities. For example, a wraith portal between capture zones can also be helpful. My second tip is to use your ult, don't lose it. When you die, your rating gets reset and you lose your ultimate. So there's no point trying to keep it because you don't keep it between lives. That means you might as well use it when you have a good opportunity. Don't try and hold on to it. My third tip is to use Watson in this mode. I mean, you can make a case for any legend, but Watson is a boss in this mode. Not just for her fences, but for her ultimate as well. You see, it doesn't just stop the nade spam, it gives you shield regen straight away, rather than having to wait 4 to 8 seconds. This can be a big advantage, especially when you're in a zone like zone B, which on all three maps can be quite an intense zone, and her ultimate can really help with the nade spam, but also get your shields back faster than your your enemies, meaning it gives you a little bit of an advantage. So it's definitely a good idea to have a Watson in your team, and always try and get your ult down as soon as possible when you're on a capture zone. Tip 4. Keep an eye out on the bonuses in the left corner of your screen. Controlling the point for the bonus gives you a big boost in points. It's a great way to win the game quicker or even to help you make a comeback if you're behind on points. Normally you'll get two bonuses through the game. The first one is normally for 100 bonus points and the second one is normally for 125 extra bonus points. My fifth tip is to customise your loadout by looking on the ground. While you do have to start with a pre-selected loadout, if you look on the ground when your enemy or even your own teammates die, their weapons will drop to the ground for a certain amount of time. If they are higher rating than you, that means you could be picking up an instantly upgraded weapon. I've got a couple of bonus tips for you as well before we finish. My first bonus tip is that if you find your team struggling to hold or capture zone B, sometimes a good idea is to back cap the zone closest to the enemy base and trying to hold that for a short amount of time. It's a good way to distract that enemy team from zone B and that can give your teammates an opportunity to push forward and take zone B. Remember, controlling two zones give you two points per second, compared to the one point per second you get for controlling just one zone, so you always want to be trying to control at least two zones. Another bonus tip is that you get more points towards your rating for objective based actions compared to just hunting kills. For example, capturing zones, defending zones and attacking enemy players on zones will all net you more points than just hunting for kills far away from zones. Play the objective well and you will ramp up your rating rapidly. Also, don't forget respawns happen in waves of 11 seconds. You want to select your base as soon as possible after dying so you can get in the respawn wave as quickly as possible. Hopefully these tips help. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.